So it's the morning that I leave for Greece. It's 8.30 and I'm on my way to go pick up Mike because uh, my best friend Nikki's birthday is today. So since I won't be able to celebrate with her tonight um, because I have to be at the airport at like 3, I'm taking her out for brunch with a few of her friends at 10. But I need to go get her gift because I'm last minute. And yesterday when I was at the mall, she was with me so I couldn't go buy her a gift. I'm wearing these like Aritzia overalls, they're really cute. So I have to go to the mall after I get some bathing suits and some just like, I don't know, just maybe some things. I spent so much money yesterday on clothes, I really needed it, but spent a lot of money. Like each one of these was $88, so it was a, uh, I needed it though. I needed to update my wardrobe a little bit. So on my lips, I'm wearing the Kylie Exposed Lip Kit. I like, you know, I'm still like iffy. I do like this lip kit more than others I've tried, but honestly, I'm not the biggest lip kit type of person. I got her a card and it was just so sweet. Like the card made me cry. Like I went to Walmart with my dad last night and it actually made me cry. But anyways, I'm on my way now to Mike's. I'm gonna stop and get coffee. Um, and then we have to go to the mall to get Nikki's present. And then we're gonna go for, uh, I don't know if I'm gonna pick her up or anything, but um, we're gonna go get her present and then gonna go for brunch but wait it feels so cute like mm, I can't wait to wear this I'm probably gonna wear it around Athens when we go so yeah I have a lot to do today T crunch time so Michelle shows up at our breakfast place and he has bags and I don't even know what's in that I'm honestly a little scared it's a surprise and Tony's here too to celebrate Nikki's birthday what are you wearing today Tony Chanel, misguided. You wear that every day. I wear it twice. And then your new Hermes, well, like Kelly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, it's a Teddy Blake bag, but it's so cute. Tony needs a Kelly. It's for Nikki. For Nikki. And this is for you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. So we're just waiting for Nikki, and we're treating today like it's my birthday as a joke. I, she's not in on it, but it's a little bit of a joke that we're saying that it's also my birthday because I won't be here. So we're just waiting for them. I'm wearing the Kylie Exposed. I don't like it. It's like it's so dark. I don't like it. I feel like I would have like Coco more. Listen, I don't think it's a joke. I really think it's your birthday. It's not nice. Can she really be trusted that today is her actual birthday? That's true. We don't know. So Michelle got me and Nikki a cake and he calls me Couture and he calls Tony Coffee. So he wrote happy birthday Couture and then on Nikki's cake, 21 question mark because she's okay. allegedly 21. Yeah. Because I'm not that good with it. And it says not Nikki's birthday. That's so funny. Oh my gosh. She doesn't even know What's the flavor, Michelle? Where did you is this where you got Alex's cake? One of them's chocolate and one of them is vanilla. So Mike and I are beginning our trip to Greece. I wanna go look at the food truck again. And we're gonna have to come back to Starbucks, eh? Yeah, these carpet things that go fast. But I don't there's nothing down there, so let's not go down there until we're ready. Oh my god. Well, th does it make sense? Like, there's this really cool, like, restaurant. I regret eating Burger King. Well, I didn't really eat that much because it wasn't good, but there's this restaurant that looks like a food truck. You guys can see it. It looks like a food truck. And there's a Starbucks where I'm going to get something to eat after before we board. Maybe I'll get a few things like snacks. And then Mike's going to get into an accident. But look how cool this is. It looks like a um, food truck. Hey guys, so I want it. Oh, this does not look good at all. We just got to our hotel in Athens because we're staying here for a few days. I haven't been to the, okay, this room is actually, it's really small. Um, we're staying at the Acropolis Hill Hotel because it's really close to the Acropolis and I'm super picky. Um, I don't like, I don't know, I'm very picky about decor and I like that everything like looks really clean here. Um, it's simple, but it looks clean. It doesn't look, I don't like yellow walls. I'm very, very weird about hotels. I blame my mother because growing up we always stayed at really nice hotels. So now I'm kind of screwed because I need to spend a lot of money to stay at nicer hotels. This was like pretty affordable though because we didn't want to spend a lot of money on, you know, hotels. But um, like, Growing up, we always went to like really nice resorts. So now, like when Mike's like, "Oh, we can go to a cheap resort," I'm like, "No, I can't." Anyways, once this room like, there's like not really a view, but like 
there's a terrace I'll show you guys after, but um, Mike and I are so tired. I look, I look like a wreck, but that's because I literally went through hell. Um, <laughs> I've been, I don't normally get plane sick, or like I don't normally get sick on planes. Like I'm, it hasn't happened since I was really young. But for the second half of the flight, I was throwing up. I woke up and I felt really nauseous and I was like, oh my god, I'm going to yak. So I rushed to the bathroom. I thought it was done and then it wasn't done. I puked a few more times. Um, I actually puked in the taxi on the way here. I don't know what the fuck is going on, but it's a mess, but I'm feeling better. I think I'm just really, really tired. So we're going to, I'm going to shower. Mike's in the shower now or it's, now. It's a very small shower, but um, it has been hell, like literally hell. So normally when we came with my mom, we would stay at the Sofitel, which is like a t like very near to the airport, like across the street. But it is far away from the city center, and the whole point of staying in Athens was to see the city um, and like go sightseeing. I haven't done this since I was young. Um, normally, like when I came with my mom and sister, we just went right to the island. But because Mike has never been to Greece, I really wanted to show him, you know, the things that people come to Greece to see. So this is the Parthenon. Um, I actually saw it on the hill. It's beautiful. Um, I haven't se I haven't seen it in person for a few years because I haven't come the past two times. Um, I'm really excited. I'm a very proud Greek so I just it blows my mind. But this is like the Acropolis like over here and then my hotel is right here. So it's like very short walking distance and then it's also short walking distance to Plaka which is like a, a shopping district. So I'm really excited to show all this stuff to Mike, but now I need to take a nap. So this is the roof view of Athens um, from the hotel. And if you look over here, and you see the Acropolis, it's just amazing. So beautiful. I'm excited at nighttime, it's probably lit up. It's so beautiful. But I don't like Athens that much, but the Acropolis and everything is nice. But I like the islands more. What do you think? So for all those who will wonder, we're staying at the Acropolis Hill Hotel in the city center. It's really close, as you saw, to the Acropolis, like a 10-ish minute walk. And um, like I said, I'm really picky about hotels, but this hotel looks like modernish and like clean and so far we both really like it and there's free breakfast so that's good walking down these streets it really even though we don't normally stay in Athens it has like the similar scent because like this is what the streets look like at least in the island we go to and it smells like this so it smells very like nostalgic and Mike's texting his mom are you hungry no, yeah yeah what do you want a euro Brandon's very jealous. So we're walking down. Out of, she, we asked where to go eat something quick because we're both really tired, but Mike's very hungry. I probably should eat very light because, you know, I threw up like all day. Um, so we're walking down all these stairs. Hopefully we'll remember how to get back. What? So we're at this little restaurant um, from our hotel. I got a Coca-Cola Zero. So I don't think Coca-Cola Light has, I think it still has calories. Anyways, Mike got his first Mythos beer, which is a Greek beer. Do you want to try it? And this is the view of the Acropolis. Mike's there. But <laughs> that's the view of the Acropolis at night. I'm trying to get a good picture. And the moon's huge and it looks like Mike doesn't it look so big like from where we are like it looks really big like you can see the columns and all the details and then on the camera it looks so small so I can't get a good picture but this hotel has like a nice there's like tables and it's um see I told you Greece is cool at night like it's not super windy is that can you see the pool from here yeah. would you jump for me no if it was like water no it is first morning. It's our only full day in Athens. And we are coming to the Acropolis and then going around to Plaka. I don't know 
exactly how to get up there. You know what? This actually is starting to look very familiar to me. I'm not kidding. I remember coming here when I was a kid. You go up these stairs. I don't think so. Yes, I think so. And when I came here when I was a kid, the marble, like it get, you know how it gets like slippy when it's like really hot? <laughs> My mom like tripped. Here are some of the ruins. It's a walking, and then you can see the Acropolis is up there. Mike is dying from walking up the hill. So we're gonna get a nice fruit juice, maybe a frappe if they have, maybe a beer, I don't know. We just bought our $20 tickets, and Mike wants to go climb this rock. I don't know what rock this is. He has his GoPro. There's a church at the beach on, an, on the island, and their stairs are like this. Do you want to try climbing it? You want to take huge? These are some real stairs. Oh my goodness. This is a little scary. Here is the Acropolis. I don't understand how they made it. It's massive. Each of the marble columns looks huge, so I don't know how they made it. Aliens. So, it looks like each one of these little marble things is like not as big as the whole thing like I thought. It's huge though. So exciting. Mike is getting a bracelet. I like both. Mike and I are stopping for a quick drink. I'm having a glass of Prosecco. He's having a beer. Mike, are you doing a haul video? I'm showing all the bags. Yeah, we shot the latte. I bought this ring. This evil eye ring. I want to bring something like this to Coffee and Couture, definitely. So I'm going to look into it, but um, I really love it. You go out here at GoPro. We went shopping a lot. But everything I got, like this store, Pull and Bear, so good. And Mike, do you want to show your two bracelets that you're stacking? Did you barter for them? Yeah. <laughs> I'm wearing so many rings, I legit look like a rapper. So this is my evil eye ring I got a lot of questions about. Oh, I'm all shaky. Um, this is from... So where's this place? I forget the name. Majuri. Majuri. I can not really take it off. This is my ring from Coffee and Couture. And then on this hand, I have um, a ring from Coffee and Couture. This is the new guy. And then this is my heart ring from Mike that I got for my birthday, like the first or second year we dated. Wow. Are we going to cheer? Well, I'm going to wait till it's like this. See, people are gonna comment, that's so mean, and no one cheers you.